There is no other place to look unto but to God. God, the creator of heavens and the earth. The Bible says, in the beginning, God. God should be introduced to our children in our family. He should be number one, not you. I remain yours, but Olubodi. We are looking at letter G today. God in parenting. In the beginning, God. As your family formation begins, you begin to introduce your children to God. That's the first name that appears in the Holy Scripture of the book I'm familiar with, the Bible. God must be present in your family. You can't parent them alone. You need divine help to parent these children. All these principles of parenting are good, but without God, they are useless. Without God, you cannot achieve much. Without God, you cannot take the children to their summit. Lead them the way God wants you to lead them. And so, as they are coming into your family, in the beginning, God. So, introduce them to God. There are different kind of gods, I don't care. But there is a, G, there is a capital letter G with God. The creator of the heavens and earth. The almighty God. The omnipotent, the omniscience, the omnipresent, everywhere he is. You can feel him, you cannot see him, but we can see his activity. And so let the children know there's nothing they can achieve outside God. God should be number one, and every other thing should be secondary. Don't let the children see you as God in their lives. So that when things go wrong, or when things are lacking or not sufficient, then they will feel disappointed. But when they see God as number one, as the omnipotent, the great provider, the great protector, the all in all, when things are not going the way it ought to go, then they will look up to God. Only one that can save them, introduce them to Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Making it simple.